Hey guys, welcome to a new video of CSAT with Jason. In this video, we'll be talking about the concept of average. We'll be also looking into the concepts of mean, median and mode and we'll do some UPSC questions as well. So if you like this video, please do subscribe, share and support. And if you want to join our telegram channel for daily questions and support, uh, you can join it using the uh, link that I'll be providing in the description box. So let's move on with the video. So let's see what average is. Okay, so average is equal to sum of observations divided by total number of observations. So if you are given a set of data for example, let's take a data 2, 6 and 7 and you are asked to find out the average, what you need to do is you need to take the sum of all the observations. That means 2 plus 6 plus 7 divided by number of observations here you have three data right three observations are there so divided by three so two plus six is eight eight plus seven fifteen by three you will get five so five is the average of the set two six and seven okay so let us look into the concepts of mean median and mode so mean is same as average so mean is equal to the sum of total observation divided by total number of observation it is same as average then what is median in order to find out the median of a given set of data first you need to arrange that set of data in ascending or descending order so once you have arranged the data in order you need to take the middlemost observation and middlemost observation will be the median so median is the middlemost or centermost observation in a given set of data when that data is arranged in ascending or descending order okay then what is mode mode is the most frequent observation that means the observation that repeats the most uh, most time it is known as the mode so we'll be looking into these concepts with the help of different examples okay so i have uh, given here three examples so let us uh, find out the mean median and mode of these examples okay so in the first example we have the set of data one two six three two so mean is equal to one plus two plus six plus three plus two divided by 5 so there are 5 observation right so i am taking 5 here so this is 9 12 and 14 so you will get 14 divided by 5 as the mean so what is mode mode is the most frequently occurring observation so what is the most frequently occurring observation here it is 2 because 2 is repeating two times and the other numbers are uh, only occurring one time so mode is 2 now median for me finding out median you need to first arrange the data in ascending or descending order so i am arranging as in, as in ascending order you have one then you have two you have one more two then you have three then you have six so here there are total five observations right so centermost observation is this one so median is two so now let us take the second example one five six seven eight nine here mean is equal to one plus five plus six plus seven plus 8 plus 9 divided by there are 6 observations so I am writing 6 here so this will become 6 12 19 27 36 so you will get 36 divided by 6 which is equal to 6 okay so mean is 6 then what is mode here mode is the most frequently occurring observation here you all the observations here all the numbers here is repeating only one time right so one is repeating one time five is repeating one time six seven eight and nine are repeating one time so all the observations in the given set of data are repeating the same number of times in that case there won't be more there won't be any mode so there is no mode in this example then median for finding out median you need to arrange the data in ascending or descending order so let us uh, arrange in ascending order here actually the data is given already in order so i am taking the same order here okay now here there are six observations so there is no middlemost number right there is no middlemost observations actually you will get these two observation in the middle so in that case if you have even number of observations you will get two observations in the middle so in that case you need to find out the average of this number as median so six plus seven by two is 13 by 2 or 6.5 so here median will be 6.5 okay so let us take the case of the third example so here again mean is equal to 
just take the sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 divided by number of observation which is 4 so 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 so you will get 10 by 4 so here 10 by 4 which is equal to 2.5 is the mean of the given set of data then here mode again as i said earlier in here in this example all the numbers 1 2 3 and 4 are repeating only one time so all the numbers in the given set of data have the same frequency this means that the das data doesn't have any mode so here there is no mode okay so in order to find the median you need to arrange the data in ascending or descending order here the data is already in order so i'm taking it as same so 1 2 3 4 here since you have an even number of observations you will get two middlemost number two and three are in the middle right so you need to find out the median as this its average that is two plus three by two you will get five uh, five by two is 2.5 okay so uh, when it comes to mean you won't be having any confusion because mean just you have to find out the sum of observation divided by total number of observation and when it comes to median if uh, there are odd number of observations you will get one middlemost number which will be the median and if there are even number of observation then you will get two numbers in the middle so you need to take the average of those two numbers to find out the median and when it comes to mode you are going to face some confusion so in order to avoid that i am giving you three more examples so let us fi uh, find out the mode of these three cases okay so let us take the example number four so in here this number one is repeating two times number two is repeating two times and number three is also repeating two times so here all the numbers in the given set of observation is repeating the same number of times or all the numbers in the given set of observation have the same frequency so in that case there is no mode but when you come into example 5 here 1 is repeating 2 times right the frequency of 1 is 2 2 is repeating 2 times again the frequency of 2 is 2 and 3 is there only one time so the frequency of 3 is 1 here the numbers the all the numbers in the given set of observation is not repeating in the same time right 1 and 2 are repeating 2 times and the frequency of 3 is 1 so in that case in this example mode is 1 and 2 okay so you need to uh, perfectly understand this if the all the numbers in the given observation has the same frequency then there is no mode but if two numbers or three numbers or four numbers in the given set of observation is having the same frequency then you there will be mode okay so in this case one and two have frequency two but three has frequency one then there is mode okay here the mode will be one and two similarly if you take the example six yes number one is repeating two times number two is repeating two times number three is also repeating two times and number four is repeating only one time this means that the frequency of 1, 2 and 3 is 2 and frequency of 4 is 1. That means here mode is 1, 2 and 3. Okay. So now let us solve some questions from UPSC. Okay. So this is a UPSC 2022 question. The average weight of A, B and C is 40 kilogram. The average weight of B, D and E is 42 kilogram. The weight of F is equal to that of B. Then what is the average weight of a b c d e and f so here it is given that a plus b plus c divided by 3 because a b c there are three observations right so a plus b plus c divided by 3 is 40 which means a plus b plus c is equal to 40 into 3 that is equal to 120 now it is also given that b plus d plus e divided by 3 is equal to 42 right so that means b plus d plus e is equal to 42 into 3 that is equal to 126. Now we need to find out a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f divided by 6 because there are 6, six observation right. It is uh, They have asked to find out the average weight of a, b, c, d, e and f. So we need to find out this one. So we know that weight of f is equal to b right weight of f is equal to b so in this in this equation we i can replace b with f because b and f are same now i am adding this equation 
with this equation what you will get a plus b plus c plus f plus d plus e is equal to 120 plus 126 which is equal to 246 right so i am rearranging this one it will become a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f is equal to 246 so we need to find out a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f divided by 6 so i'm just dividing 6 here so 6 here you will get 41 so the answer for this one is 41 so option c is the right answer so now let us look into a different question this is from upsc 2021 there are two classes a and b so we have two classes a and b and class a is having 25 students we have 25 students here class b having 30 students we have 30 students here in class a the highest score is 21 so in class a highest score is 21 and lowest score is 17 so lowest score in class a is 17 okay in class b highest score is 30 in class b highest score is 30 and lowest score is 22 lowest score is 22 now four students are shifted from class a to class b so from class a to class b you have shifted four students consider the following statement so we need to find out whether one or two is correct okay so average the uh, statement one says that average score of class b will definitely decrease and two states that average score of class a will definitely increase so let us see so from here let us take uh, let us assume that the four students transferred has got the highest marks so that means all the four students are having 21 marks i'm just assuming okay so i am transferring four students from a who have got the highest marks to class b but in class b the lowest mark is 22 right so even the the students are coming from a who is having even lesser mark than the lesser mark than 22 right so the students with less marks are coming into uh, class b so the average of class we will decrease that you need to understand so if there is a set of data and you are adding a smaller number into that set of data which is even smaller than the lowest of that data then the average of that data is definitely going to decrease so from here if you transfer students from a to b even if the students are getting highest marks in uh, class a uh, their mark is actually very low in class b so the average of class b will definitely decrease so the option one the statement one is correct so now let us see statement number two the average score of class a will definitely increase that you cannot say because from a either you can transfer the students who are getting more mark or you can also transfer the students who are getting the lowest scores which are 17 so if you are transferring the students who are getting more marks into class b then the average of class a will definitely decrease if you are transferring the students who are getting lowest mark in class a to class b then the average of class a is going to be increased so we cannot say whether the average of class a will increase decrease or remains the same so that means statement two we cannot say so it is wrong so only one option a is the right answer so now let us take a different question from upsc 2020 so in a class there are three groups a b and c so that means you have a class in that class you have three groups a b and c okay if one students from class group a so one student from group a and two student from group b two student from group b is transferred or shifted to group c so this student is shifted to group c and these two students are also shifted to group c then what happens to the average weight of the class so let us assume one thing here let's say that group a have 10 students group b have say five students and group c have like you know six students so total number of students in the class will be 10 plus 5 15 plus 6 21 so there are 21 students in the class now if you are transferring one student from class a to class c the number of students in group sorry if you are transferring from group a to group c uh, the number of students in group A is going to become 9 and then if you are transferring two students from group B to group C the number of students in group B is going to become uh, 3 and the number of students in group C is going to increase to 9 because 3 students are coming into group C the, so the total number of students in the class 9 plus 9 plus 3 is 21 
so here the total number of students in the class is not going to change right because you are rearranging the number of students within the class therefore the number of students and their weights in class is not going to change you have 21 students in class 1 before and now also you have 21 students in the class so that means that average of the class is not going to change or average weight of the class is not going to change but if the question was like what happens to the average weight of group a or average weight of group b or average weight of group c then there is going to be a change in the average because the number of students in group a group b a, and group c are changing so there can be changes in average okay so it can increase or decrease we cannot we don't know but when it comes to the class since the number of students in the class are not going to change and we are rearranging within the class then the average of the class is not going to change so it remains the same so option c is the right answer now let us take a question from upsc 2019 a family has two children along with their parents the average weight of children and their mother is 50 kilogram average weight of children and their father is 52 kilogram and if the weight of father is 60 kilogram then what is the weight of the mother so it is given that the uh, family has two children one mother and one father so let us assume that the weight of mother is m weight of father is f and weight of two children together is c okay so weight of two children together is c so it is given that c plus m that is weight of children plus weight of mother divided by the number of people that is two children and one mother so divided by 3 is equal to 50 that means c plus m is equal to 150 okay so you got one equation now the average weight of children and their father is 52 that means children plus father weight of two children plus father divided by 3 is equal to 52 c plus f will be is equal to 150 652 into 3 is 156 so this is our second equation now if i subtract first equation from second equation you will get f minus m is equal to 156 minus 150 that is equal to 6 so it is given that the weight of father is 60 so you can substitute 60 here so 60 minus m is equal to 6 or m is equal to weight of mother is equal to 60 minus 6 which is equal to 54 so weight of mother is 54 let us take one more question this is also a question from two, upsc 2019 so the average mark of 100 students are given to be 40 so let us say the sum of observation that is the sum of the marks of 100 students let's say it is s so s divided by 100 is equal to 40 so the total marks of all the 100 students is s is equal to 40 into 100 which is equal to 4000 so we got that the sum of the marks of the students the 100 students is 4000 now the question says that it was found later that the marks of one student was 53 which was misread as 53 so uh, while calculating the average we took it as 83 but actually it was 53 so we actually increased 30 so we have added a 30 extra so from our sum we need to reduce 30 in order to find the corrected mean or corrected average so that means 4000 minus 30 is equal to 3970 so our actual mark is actually it was actually 3970 but we misread 53 as 83 so our uh, marks became 30 more so our actual mark is 3970 so our corrected mean will be 3970 divided by 100 so that is equal to 39.7 so option b is the right answer so guys uh, thank you so much uh, so if you like the video please do subscribe share and support so as i already mentioned if you want to join our telegram channel you can join using the link that i'll be providing in the description box so thank you once again